YTBC, what's the deal? Just want to do a quick prediction on this fight. Still in shock about uh, Alexander Pavek and fell in that uh, urine test today, man. But man, man, man. But anyways, this is going to be an entertaining, interesting cruiserweight fight between Keith Tapia and Andrew Tabidi. I was breaking down tape. Keith Tapia is a guy who I've done a prospect watch video on. Check that out at my uh, heavyweight prospect playlist. I had him. I sometimes do videos on cruisers who I think most likely will be heavyweight one day. And I think he is one of those type of guys. Although he's not a huge, massive guy, but maybe he won't. Maybe say a cruiser. But anyways, this is going to be a very entertaining fight, man. I'm looking at both guys. Height about the same. Uh, I see that Tapia has a longer reach. When I break down to B, he's the type of guy, he likes to walk you down a little bit, fight behind his shoulder. He likes to find his range. He'll pull with the jab sometimes. Sometimes he'll snap it. Get you know He likes to get a little close, and then he likes to break you down by placing sharp, accurate punches and when you really start letting his hands go that's when he looks his best when he's letting combinations go and he's working to the body and he's you know throwing those combinations um i've seen some sparring footage with him and uh jay leon love i've seen a few of his uh pro fights about four of his pro fights some of the guys i didn't know the names of them i've just solely uh breaking down to be i'm um, seeing some pbc fights when he knocked one guy out cold Floyd Mayweather was at that fight, and Floyd jumped out of his seat. He knocked the dude out cold. Um, did he knock him out? I know dude hit the canvas hard. I think he got it, but the ref stopped it. But he dropped dude pretty damn hard um, with a nice right hand. He, he he has a good right hand, man. He he has a very good right hand. He has shown power against all, you know, limited opposition. But those PBC guys he fought were, some of those guys were just tough journeyman type guys, tough guys. Um, so I really haven't seen Tabidi get push back like that and get into a fight um into a dust up i haven't seen him really get into a dust up usually he he's applying the pressure and he's breaking guys down um tapio on, on the other hand good on his legs he has very good legs he's very energetic i know when i watched that garrett wilson fight now you may look at garrett wilson and say oh he, you know he's not he's nothing special and you can believe that but i've seen garrett wilson fight heavyweights i know i've seen him fight glasskoff and he he was giving glasskoff some good damn work Garrett Wilson is, you know, they call him the, what they call him, the road warrior or something. He was giving Glasgow some good work. I even seen him in there with, uh, what's the light heavyweight kid? Shambraski. I seen him in there with him too. I've seen Garrett Wilson quite a few times, man. Um, sometimes he puts on good performances and losses. You know, he's a tough guy. And Tapia was in a fight with him, you know, and I've, so I've seen Tapia tested. I think between both guys, Garrett Wilson is probably the toughest test out of both these guys resumes in my opinion um that's just my opinion but so i i, I seen tapia get back well he likes to use his legs but i seen him come forward i seen him get hit get clipped and when he got clipped he came right back and then he hurt wilson um, he brawled it out with him he, he was moving on his legs it was a brawl it was a uh a, a brawl at times but then tapia would just use his legs he was using his jab sometimes he paused with it but i think just to keep you at bay you know, he has long arms, like to keep you at bay, and he'll switch from righty to lefty. Um, so I've seen him do more things in his pro fight. Doesn't mean that what Andrew does isn't good, but it's just I haven't I haven't really seen him have to uh switch and do something different. Is you know, I've seen that with Tapia, and I know he can move, so he's not gonna just be sitting there uh waiting for Tabidi. You know, he's not gonna sit still for him. You know, but I do think Tabidi is uh, athletic enough to catch up with Tapia. But Tapia has some really good legs, left to right, lateral movement. Um, like I say, he'll switch from right to lefty. If you hit him, he he will hit you back, man. He will, he he will brawl it up with you. Um, he has very good boxing skills, good amateur. You know, both these guys are around the same age. It's a tough fight, man. Both guys are undefeated. Tapia a little bit more experienced. I think he I think he's seventeen and zero. Uh, Tabidi's 12 and 0 with 12 knock with 11 knockouts. If I had to put some money on it, man, if I had to put some money on it, I will go with, I will go with uh, Tapia in 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 this fight. It's, it's it's a close fight. It can go either way, you know. But I will lean towards Tapia because of the Wilson fight because I've seen him face some adversity. And in that fight, as the fight went on, Tapia is so damn energetic, man. He reminds me of um, what's the kid, George Arias, uh, from the Bronx. He reminds me of him, the heavyweight. He's just, there's just real energetic dancing around. I mean, when it was like round eight and it was before the bell's going to ring 
and he's just you know bouncing up and down just still had energy man it's like damn it's an energetic kid so uh i just think his movement and his skill and his hand speed i think is going to give tabidi some problems i think tabidi wants you to be still so he can hit you i'm not saying he can't hit guys well we'll see tonight we will see tonight maybe i'm totally wrong but i think he more wants a guy to be a little bit still so he can land his shots whereas uh tapia can hit on the go you know he, he can uh he can hit on the go you know what i mean as they say uh doing it moving you know what i mean so i'm gonna go with keep tapia in this fight but it's a close fight I can go either way let me know what you guys think ytbc i'm out